I'm put up with changes. Come pick me up because I just want to see the light. I'm up a bit early this morning, not as early as other mornings, but I'm heading into the city. Um, lockdown is kind of over. We've still got we've still got quite a few restrictions, but we're allowed to move within 25 kilometres of our home. So I'm going to head into the city this morning with a friend, and I'm going to take some photos. Um, we're going to head to the Docklands. I uh, haven't been there for um, a couple of years and photograph some buildings that I've done quite a few times and see what I can get today. So um, I'll see you in there. Maybe things are gonna be alright Cause I just wanna see the light I'm so sick of waiting in the Docklands, as I said I was going to be, wearing a mask because we have to wear masks again all the time when we're not at home. And of course, when I decide to start talking, there's cars everywhere. But um, first of all, we're just coming to the corner of Collins Street and Burke Street, which is not meant to happen really, but um, they do intersect and there's this building which I guess is kind of becoming our version of the flat iron building so I'm going to go and take some photos so I'm just going to go and set up so this is the building I want to take some photos of I've tried it a few times but it's often been not successful so I've got clouds today there's not many people around I think it's time to give it a go unusual a different angle here um, it's one of those things you can't really get straight onto it or straight onto that point that comes right down the middle um, but before I just turn away look how beautiful that light is on the side of it gotta see if I can capture that but um, I'm also trying to get a little bit of these trees maybe just to give it a bit of I don't know something I don't know, it's always been a really hard building for me to try and get the image that I really want. Um, so, I don't know, I've tried about, this is the fourth spot that I've tried this morning and it's probably all I'm going to do. Um, and then when I get home I'll have a look and then maybe next time I come I'll know more of exactly what I want to try and achieve. sneaking this in, removing my mask just for a short video and we're just walking over to the water now to see um, what we can get there. I can't wear my glasses and my mask at the same time because I can't see. It's one of the biggest problems with masks is how your glasses just fog up constantly. But um, let's go and take a look at Victoria Harbour and see what we can see there. Every moment tonight 
another shot here looking across the water to the buildings it can be a tough one with the boats because boats always move with a long exposure and it's not really a great day but we'll see see what they look like on my computer would you stay till the morning light or would you follow me or would you let it be if I leave tonight we could do this right we'll find the remedy or would you stay with me now till the morning light before you turn away I just want you to know that I didn't throw your stuff away before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here I think this is going to be my last one for the day um, last shot, you can see the camera down there. Um, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it this morning. It's nice to get out and take some photos, but it's, just, you know, like you want lots of clouds, but I don't know, the clouds just aren't that, I think it's just too dull. It's really, really dull. So um, I guess I'll just go home and see what I've got. I might go out for breakfast first with Sandra, who's standing over there, who doesn't want to be on camera and um, we'll see what I've got later on. Anyway, so I'm going to call it quits. If I feel like it, I might do some, might do something, talk to you at home, but at this stage I'm thinking this is probably it. I'll see you next time. I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said weeks now but every time I go and look at the photos that I took on this particular day I just think I just don't know what to do with them and it's one of those things where sometimes you go out and you take photos and you just don't like anything you've taken I, I played around with a few just a few which I'll show you um, but first I'm going to take you through um, so you can have a look at the photos as I actually took them and then after that, you can see what I've done with a few of them. I mean, it's just one of those things, you know, some days you go out and, you know, the weather's just crap or this particular day, it was the light. You know, the light, it was really gray, it was really dull. I mean, I like overcast days, but not when it's so gray that you just don't get any good shots. But anyway, you can have a look at them and see what you think. Um, but I think it's time I just did this video and put it together and um, we'll see, we'll see how it turns out. 
So we're just gonna have a check and have a look at the photos that I took. I mean, as I said before, they're not great. You know, the, um, the light was not great. But I mean, I went into Docklands because I wanted to photograph this building here. To me, I think I've said in the video too, um, that how it reminds me of the Flatiron building. It's kind of like Melbourne's version of it, I guess. Although a modern take on it. So it, it's on two corners. It's like the, where two streets that normally run parallel intersect. So um, I was trying to take photos of it. I mean, I've been there many, many, many times and I mean, I'm always trying to get something better. It'd be nice if the building behind it wasn't there. And also too, it's kind of messy. You know, you've got rubbish bins, signs, traffic signs, lights, and you have cars parked. It's kind of really scrappy. So I did put, I did have the camera on the um, tripod and I was doing some long exposures, sort of two minutes, um, that sort of thing. And then I tried, because I've done this sort of composition many times. So I thought, oh, well, why don't I give it a try from different angles? I tried this one, but I don't know. You kind of miss that whole corner kind of thing. I mean, you can see it a bit. I mean, it's just a really odd place. I mean, the best time to be able to take photos, it would be if you could stop all the traffic and just be able to stand on the road because the road is probably the best best place to take photos of this. It's also quite interesting too because this building also has, well it used to, I'm not sure it still does, has some really interesting lights on it as well. So it makes it an interesting building to photograph at night. And I think the building, the lights are kind of light or heat sensitive. So the hotter the day is, the more colorful the lights are, I think. I mean, I went there one night and the lights were just incredible. They're all different colors. Whereas normally when you go there, they're just kind of blue it was a really hot day when I got the colorful lights. So I don't know how true that is. So yeah, so this is the corner of Burke Street and Collins Street. I think it's 888, I'm not entirely sure. And you can see here there are these trees that are actually just sculptures that have been built, which are quite interesting, but they make it kind of hard to photograph the building. So I was trying different angles, sort of moving around, but I mean, this, the only thing that was really good about this one is here you can see this light hitting the side of the building, but it's such a, you know, it sort of doesn't really matter how you photograph it, it's such a busy composition and I don't know, I think I'm going to have to just keep going back and trying it in different, different times of the day, different light, just see what I end up with. So this is um, a library that is um, down on the water. So. Um, we went there and I sort of played, I really liked the reflections in the windows. So I was kind of playing around with those. But again, this is, these are all long exposures. The camera is still on the tripod. You'll see it come off the tripod in a minute. So, you know, it's one of the things with long exposures, you've often got to experiment to get um, a good exposure. So, you know, it was sort of starting to happen there. Again, this is more long exposures. Um, this Victoria Harbour, so it's looking across to the buildings and you can see Melbourne Star over in the corner or behind that building. You used to be able to see it really well. I imagine eventually you won't be able to see it at all because they'll probably put buildings all along here because, you know, can't have enough big high-rise buildings. So again, this was just experimenting. I, this is, I think, I did end up working on one of the images and this is the image I worked on because um, for me the most important thing was getting that sky. So once I got the sky I knew I could work on the rest of it. Um, so these were just taken with the camera while I was holding it and filming it. So I was just playing around, seeing what I could get. This gives you an idea of what's around. I mean you would have seen a lot of this stuff in the video already. so gives you an idea of what's around it. That light is really nice. But yeah, this will be reflections from, so that's the Bolte Bridge here, reflected in the window of the um, library. And who knows what that was meant to be. I think I probably took that by accident. So this is Victoria Harbour, 
and I mean that's it and as you can see like the photos are just they're dull you know there's no shadows there's kind of I don't know I just didn't like them like it just even when I was there I just thought it's just you know I just wasn't feeling I've got a friend who always says I just wasn't feeling it and that's pretty much how I was feeling that day um, unlike the last time I went I've been out since then and I had a great time and had a lot of fun but this morning I don't know it just wasn't happening for me but like I said I will go back and I will try out some more photos so but I will show you some of the photos that I have processed so take a look at those too so that's it from me this week um, I'm either going to be with you in a week or in a couple of weeks I'm still trying to sort all this out Anyway, I hope you have a good week and I'll talk to you. Oh, I know that you feel it too. I know that I told you we're over. I swear.